Hey, what is up guys, I'm Rick here and welcome back to Let's Play Transcendent New Blood. I know it's been a while guys, I know it's been a while, it's been like weeks now. Uh, hopefully I'm still going to be able to do this, but I mean by that I'm hopefully not going to fail. Just saying that I'm going to screw me over knowing myself. This is actually currently take two I believe this recording. First time it actually got trashed due to the simple fact that freaking telephone keeps ringing in my house for no apparent reason. I will not get caught this time around because I shouldn't plug the bloody phone. Hopefully. Hopefully not the phone. There's no more hidden phone in the basement or something. We got like 2 billion phone here. It's like, it's crazy. And hopefully the phone's not gonna ring this time around. Anyways, enough with all that stuff. Let's get on to this. I don't hear that many gunshots anymore. The operation must be drawing to a close. No new injuries have been reported either. It looks to me like we have the upper hand. Maybe so. But if we back them into a corner, who knows what they might do? Cynthia. Doctor, they've taken Cynthia into custody. They have? Where is she? I want to see her. I've been waiting to talk to you, Cynthia. I never would have imagined that you were a spy. You were a big help to us at Caduceus. Or so I thought. Did you do it for Ray? Or was it your own decision? You don't know anything about him, Val. Apparently not. But I'm not interested in the aspirations of an arms dealer. Calm down, Val. If you don't mind, Cynthia, will you tell us about him? He was born and raised here, in this miserable land torn apart by civil war. He went to Russia and then to the United States in order to become a doctor. He realized his dream and started a medical company. But when he returned to his homeland to offer his assistance, he found only betrayal. What happened? The army tried to assassinate him while he was working at a refugee camp. He had devoted his life to saving the country and that was how they repaid him. Goodwill was an unwanted guest. Unfortunately, that's a reality for countries in turmoil. He had always been an advocate of reconciliation, but from then on, his thoughts became more radical. There is a legend among these people. They believe that long ago, a great flood destroyed mankind, save one family that landed here. As a member of the chosen people, he's allowed his pride to corrupt him. The forces of destruction are still weak, he said, and he began to yearn for greater power, regardless of whether it was good or evil. That's how he became involved with arms trade and stigma. Yes, he sold his soul to the devil, and he received stigma from Professor Wilkins, with whom he was acquainted. You worked so hard at Caduceus to save people's lives. Was that all a lie? I honestly don't know. Although, I can say that I don't think the same as he does. For a time, I believed that I could change him. But his madness only grew stronger. After I left Caduceus, I came here to try and dissuade him from his plan. But shortly after I arrived, he put a shackle around my heart. What? See the scar on my chest, Val? <gasps> he implanted a pump unit designed to terminate my life. He has the ability to kill me by remote control whenever he wishes. And so, I am bound to this castle. But that's not what it's meant for! It's to save people like myself! This is horrible! If that's what's keeping you here, Cynthia, then let's remove it. I doubt that's possible, Val. We'll make it possible. But you have to trust us. There's still hope. What do you say? I'm sorry, Val. I'm sorry for everything. This is the implant he placed inside me. The image is a CAT scan that he took. And even further inside is the special chip he installed. It's pretty deep inside. Removing it won't be easy. Won't he find out what we're up to during the operation from your vital signs? What if he activates the chip while we're operating? That's not going to happen. He's at a college in Caucasus, in his own personal arc. 
He doesn't know anything about what's going on here. Even though he left you here? That's why he left me here. He has no interest in me anymore. Cynthia, I'm going to save you. I swear it. Thank you. You're the only one that never changes. Uh, like pretty much everything in the world, everything can be turned for good and evil. I'm just gonna say that way. I mean, I mean, even the vitamin can actually be lethal into a big of a dose. Everything in the world that is good can be bad. Everything. Well, you'll be operating on your heart. Okay, let's see if I can actually do something now. Don't remember that one at all, because it's been way too long. It's in the atrium. Let's take a look inside. Ouch, even inside a heart. kind of implant I have? If that's true, then we can remove all the control chips to completely shut it off. First, let's burn the control chips with the laser. They're kind enough to actually tell you what you need, you need to do. Use the scalpel to remove the chip has been cut off. Now, remove it. Because honestly, I wouldn't have remembered if it was for Elena telling you this. And it's hemorrhaging. That's the first time. And careful about that. Move on to thankfully. Her heart didn't begin fibrillating. You remember the fibrillation? I like those things. It's always been really, really annoying. Another irregularity on the EKG. Please watch out, doctor. Anytime now. Her heart is fibrillating. Knew it. For a moment. Wait for it. She's undergoing cardiac arrest. Okay, it's one of those. To resuscitate her. They switch between like massage, cardiac massage, and the actual defibrillator, and sometimes I yeah, remember post. that she had to press A and B. I was ready for defibrillator, not for that. We'll cut this as fast as possible. It's gonna kill the vital, however. Come on! Come on! That's the chip. The chip that's keeping her here. The chip is implanted directly into the heart. We should carefully peel this off little by little instead of ripping it off all at once. First. We need to disable use the laser on the chip to burn it. Hold on, Lena, I'm just gonna get rid of that. If you don't get rid of those spot, it, it it they will actually cause a, a blood pool, which is gonna make you lose a bit of vitals. And because you have fibrillation and shit here, you really this can't be. The chip rebooted itself. Disable it again with a laser. Another irregularity on the EKG. Please watch out, doctor. Fibrillation has occurred. Oh, I remember that one. That one you need to be really, really fast. And precise. Ah, Toronto Center. Always trusting stuff at you. Always. Fast, got it fast, got it fast. The chip rebooted again. Come on. There's not much to talk about here. It's just a. It's kind of intense. It's not tough, but intense. You know, like the moment's gripping you. Also, I haven't been sleeping <laughs> lately. Oh uh, man, I, I used to work at night. I already said that once. Thing is, college is in the day, so when you sleep at night for that long and try to go to college. It doesn't work really well. Do Let's just say that. Don't start celebrating. We need to replace the pump. I'll get the implant. Please keep an eye on the EKG. Oh, by the way, place it again. Fibrillating. Fibrillation has occurred. Please suspend the treatment. Uh, please keep an eye on the EKG. It's fibrillating right now, lady. Quickly. Seriously. Sometimes you can get really funny stuff by like really ironic stuff like with scripted events. My buddy and I were playing F Zero and one he was he finished fourth and I finished first, but we're so close it says something like "All right, fourth place." Like the guy was yelling for first place and like fourth. Come on, I just want to do my job. Come on, I want to just want to do my job. Only job. Uh, you know, like I said, guys, you know, me and Fibrillation, we don't love each other. We actually hate each other. Should I have asked divorce? Kidding, but yeah, seriously. Fibrillation. Oh, forgot. Forgot yeah, she, she had to twist it. Lost like 100 combo just because of that. Oops. 
Seriously, game? Would you let me do something for like five seconds? I'm just asking, you know? That was close. A blood pool has formed. Please do stuff because it's <sighs> Come on. Has begun functioning again. All right, let's close the atrium. Got close a few more, but that was fairly easy. Are stable. Her heart is it seems like just fibrillation again. Well then, let's start closing. I don't like fibrillation. I feel like a broken record, but seriously, I hate those. They're like my least favorite operation because you're just stuck to a, not a time limit, but you're stuck to a uh, annoying shackle that prevents you from doing anything. It can be used for both good and evil. It all depends on the intent of. I said that. Line stoller. Great work, doctor. Ah. And I'm gonna have a seat. Oh yeah, what the? Okay. Game every single time that I freaking get a, a A rank, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get a C. Nope. Game, are you trying to troll me? I'm just asking, but seriously. It's over, Cynthia. We did it. I'm so glad we could save her. You know, it's been our goal all along. To save people's lives and rid the world of illness. You've already made up your mind, haven't you, Marcus? Yeah, let's end this once and for all. It's time to confront this Master Bahushti. Do you smell when I'm smelling the air? Bus fight! goes no police no nothing they're just Dorian liar like commando myth doctors room? it's very quiet Bahushti, where are you who disturbs the serenity of my laboratory I see you're different from those ill-mannered police you are welcome here then but how did you learn of this place? Do you remember me, Ray? It's me, Valerie Blaylock, Cynthia's friend. She's the one who told us where to find you. And yes, we removed your wicked device from her. I see. You're Cynthia's friend. That's all the more reason to welcome you. Do you remember Professor Wilkins Vahusti? I'm Marcus Vaughn, his associate. Does the name ring a bell? So, you're Dr. Vaughn. Welcome, Father of Stigma. It's an honor to meet you. Even if it was by mere chance, your discovery is of great significance. You've got it all wrong. I'm not its father. I came here to eradicate it. What an ignorant decision. Your sense of duty as a doctor has blinded you to the possibility of life. What is needed in this world, which long ago reached maturity and began to rot away, is stigma. The power to create new life. Rejoice that you are chosen to take part in this momentous occasion. I knew you were normal, but you've completely lost it. What happened to you, Ray? You were a good doctor before, but now you're just a ruthless murderer. Have you not yet timed the meaningless praise you receive for saving people's lives? Open your eyes. The true nature of life is endless conflict. This is the path that mankind must walk. How can you not see it? It's over now. Your Parnassus is gone. My power remains undiminished because my body itself is the Ark. I am the vessel that holds the new form of life. You're infected with stigma? 
He's no longer capable of judging right from wrong. Infected. Now, we are in symbiosis. Together with stigma, I will survive through the end of an age, as did my ancestors. Elena, get the anesthetic. Yes, Doctor. Marcus, don't tell me you plan to operate on him. I see edema on his body. The infection must be in the advanced stages. We can't allow this strain of stigma to leave here. We must confront it to learn the truth. I would just love him, like, taking the guy, pushing him on a chair, and something just, like, opening up, like, like just like, nope. Oh, and uh, by the way, I found the title of this episode. <laughs> hmm. I've contacted Caduceus. We've sent them the research data we found as well. I've taken a look through the data. This is one troublesome stigma. He's named it Cardia. Could it have been named that because that's where it attaches itself? It means heart. The heart? Since there are stigma that can cause secondary infections, we can't ignore any types of stigma. We can only predict what may be triggered by the death of its host. But we should prepare for the worst. I won't let that happen. We have to completely remove all traces of Cardia from the heart. Can all of you hear me? Director! Caduceus will do everything in his power to exterminate Cardia. No, all stigma, everywhere. I'm sending staff to prevent secondary casualties through infections to you immediately. Hi, Elena. We have a large number of skilled nurses ready to go, too. You don't have enough equipment there, right? We'll prepare some for you as well. All you need to do is concentrate on your operation, just like any other procedure. Dr. Everett, stop chit-chatting with them and prepare the equipment for transport. Everyone. How encouraging. Yes. We're not the only ones here fighting. Doctor, I'll do my best as well. Let's put an end to stigma. Okay. Let's begin the operation to remove the Cardia Stigma. A membrane. At the, the core. Right now, can we please let it first? After that, make it insane. A section of the membrane. There seems to be no problem with this method. Please continue extracting the membrane. Oh! It's possible to pick up multiple... Huh? The membrane appears to return to normal... Good job. And how did it get over there so fast? is proceeding smoothly. The membrane has been completely extracted. The membrane... Please, no, but please continue the membrane extraction procedure. Complete. The outer shell came off. 
The core's out in the open. It's an owl. We'll finish it with this. Cardia discharged something. Use the forceps to remove it. It's... it's working. Keep it up. Watch its movements. Please, hurry and suture the lacerations. Cardia is making some kind of ripple. Is it over? Is it really? Yeah. Doctor. Ah, <sighs> finally, guys. Finally managed to beat that freaking stigma. It is finally over. We finally won. Uh, what you seen there, guys, was pretty much my best attempt at it. Took me a few tries because it, that stigma. If you can get, if you cannot get that final part right, where there's a circle, it's an insta kill. And I died every time at that one because I was able to start my uh, power f that fast enough. But there you go, guys. Finally managed to do it, and it's actually a perfect run. It's my first ever perfect run of this and I got it on camera. I'm so proud of that one. So you're gonna have a bit it's I apologize for the bit of a weird cut and also for the no mic part. But it just took me so much focus and stuff out I could not commentate on that. Every time I tried to commentate over it, it failed. So yeah. Finally did it guys. We finally beat Stigma once and for all. But it's not over yet. You rid my body of the last stigma. Yes, consider it your atonement. I don't know if I'll ever be able to atone for what I've done. Marcus, he seems different than before. Stigma is an antagonist for malignant diencephalic sclerosis. It has protected my brain until now. Without it, I won't survive for long. You use stigma to treat a diencephalic disorder? Wait, but then the change in his behavior, could it have been induced? Could he be suffering from delirium as a side effect? It's getting hard to breathe. I let my anger take control of me. I was weak, and I... I lost myself. My regret is too much to bear. I'm sure you saved countless lives over the years. But that doesn't give you the right to take away even a single life. Dr. Vaughn. Dr. Blaylock. Thank you. You've saved me. 
who is able to repent for my death. He's gone. Doctor. It's finally over. <sighs> that boss fight, guys. And epilogue. The threat of stigma, which brought fear to the entire world, was eliminated with the dismantling of the criminal organization Parnassus. Caduceus's international network was integral to the operation, providing treatment and taking preventative measures in a number of countries. Because of their efforts, the disease was successfully contained and the crisis caused by man's divisiveness was brought to an end through cooperation. How can you decline? It's an invitation from the president himself. He wants to recognize you all for your efforts in fighting stigma. I tried to persuade them, but their answer was still no. I'll prepare an official statement if you like. I just don't understand. It's such an honor. They've gone through some painful experiences. An occasion such as this would only reopen the wounds. What they need right now is to be with the patients they've treated. To see their smiling faces. Our top priority is the analysis of Ahusti's data on stigma. I have to admit, though, I'm not exactly looking forward to it. However, it's of tremendous importance to pathology and pharmacology. True. But it's hard not to think about Cynthia at a time like this. It would be the perfect opportunity for her to undo some of the damage she's done. I like to believe that while she was here, she focused on helping people. I just can't bring myself to think otherwise. Well, our purpose here at Caduceus is to save lives. I'm sure that's where her heart was while she was with us. Dr. Everett, why don't we call it a day and get some dinner? You too, Robert, if you have the time. Well, this is a rare occasion. Sure, why not? All right, Elena, see you tomorrow. Bye, Leslie. Looks like that's it for today. The director assigned us so many patients, we didn't even have time for a break. Are you ready to head out, Marcus? Not quite. I need to finish this up first. By the way, Val, I'll be out the day after tomorrow. I'm going to see Professor Wilkins. Is it about restoring his memory? Mind if I tag along? No, not at all. Then I'll inform the director. You weren't planning on leaving me behind, were you? I am a member of the Special Disease Counteraction Team. Elena. All right, you two. Let's go get some fresh air. You know, looking at the city like this, it almost seems like nothing ever happened. Do you have any regrets, Elena? You know, if you hadn't followed me to Alaska, you wouldn't have had to go through the whole ordeal. I don't have a single regret, Dr. Vaughn. All those sparkling lights, each one is a patient, and they're counting on us to take good care of them. Stigma is gone, but who knows what's in store for us next. I'll never quit being a doctor, Marcus, no matter what happens. No matter how hard it may seem at times, or how much danger I have to face. For the sake of those patients that only I can help. I feel the same way. I'll be counting on you. And I'll be counting on you. Well, guys, that is a credit. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it there because uh, Atlas got weird stuff like copyright IDs and stuff on Atl on uh, stuff. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be skipping that and putting a black screen over the credits. It's sad, really, because I would like to give credits to people who actually made the game. But companies, that's how they work. Can't do shit. I'm only a let's player. It's kind of dumb, though. It is really, really dumb. What can I say? I guess they want to protect their um, video game music or something. Uh, you know, copyright stuff. Anyways, I'm really, I really, really hope you enjoyed, guys. 
I'm gonna take a break. My hands are shaking. That last boss fight. I was really tired when I first started this because I was trying to get the part done because I really wanted to st keep uh, to stop keeping you guys from waiting and, uh, and I haven't slept much but after a boss fight like that I'm totally awake holy cow that boss fight I think it took like three or four attempts until I get the pattern right at the end that circle that freaking circle of death, doom, and destruction. Normally you're supposed to laser it, but if you're a bit slow in the laser, it's gonna hit the circle. So I prefer you just using this, the, um, the actual healing touch there. Valerie's one is perfect there, because you can just like, stop it. But seriously, that last boss. You know what's funny? There's gonna be a bonus part. There is still something tougher than this boss. It's something you're not even supposed to be winning. Because why am I saying that? Because you can get a grade and a mission complete by failing. You're not supposed to be able to win this. It is pretty much all the boss fight from both games put in one single operation that is so freaking tough that only someone who plays this game a lot will be able to complete. I went, I actually managed I played this once. Never beat it. Managed to get far into it. But unless you practice it again and again and again, you're not gonna beat it. You're just not. On the other end, let's say clear it. You know what? Since I'm just there, I don't wanna. I don't wanna just like. I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys on the on the bus episode. I am making a bus episode. I'm making another episode, so just because this one's been recording for way too long, I need to check on the recording. Anyways, was that a break here? Sign off. See you guys. Hope you enjoy, as always.